OK, let's head over to the Beko kitchen. Somebody else who's sexy when Chef Mark's cooking. <laughs> It's like, whoa, what is he making today? <laughs> and no, what are you talking about the chicken? No, I was talking about you, Mark. I know, now we've made it really awkward. Um, <laughs> what are you making today? Because the recipe sounds delicious. <laughs> right, well, we've got chicken on the menu today. So we've got this beautiful breast and all these flavours, which we're going to make a marinade for the mm. chicken and get all these big, heavy, robust flavours. So we've got soy sauce, yep. garlic powder, we've got some dried rosemary here, and Worcestershire sauce nice. as well, you know? And, and obviously mustard, because it is a mustard marinated um, chicken. A little bit of sugar in there. Can counterbalance it with some uh, lemon juice, um, mm. so it's just going to be packed full of flavour. We're going to skewer it, we're going to grill it. You know, it's a great one for the barbecues, obviously in summer or yeah. if it's not raining. Um, and then we've got a beautiful uh, roasted broccoli just to serve on the side with a little bit of feta and some hazelnuts. Two of my favourites, broccoli and feta. Add in the chicken, absolutely brilliant. Sounds delicious. We'll get all of Mark's tips to make this a little later. Well, it is great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen, and we've got a tasty chicken just to show off this morning. I'm loving all the ingredients that you've got here. Uh, where is this inspired from? Uh, this is just inspired to make the humble chicken taste great, oh, you know? Great. Lots of uh, strong, robust flavours, and, and, it's, and it's really good. You know, you've got a, you've got a nice uh, sort of, oh, not to say bland, but, you know, a nice... Um, Tasting meat, and we're just going to pack it full of flavour. Oh, okay, yeah. good. No, I know what you mean. Um, no, and uh, honestly, broccoli, one of my favourites. Feta, one of my favourites. And chicken, because sometimes when you have a lot of chicken, you can sometimes get a bit <laughs> bored with it. So you need to yeah, exactly. Shush it up. Yeah. So and, I knew I knew what you were saying. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right. cool. So, so let's get going. Right, so, we, so we've got chicken breast, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start chopping up in a sec. You're going to make the marinade. Okay, good. Right, so we've got all these wonderful ingredients here. Gee, so impressive. Chicken breast, aren't they? They're, they're massive, oh, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so mustard. Yeah, so we've got some Dijon mustard in there, but yep. you, know, you could use whole grain mustard if you want. You can do a mixture of both, you know, anything you wanted. But okay. Dijon's a really good one, you know. Yep. You get that nice sort of creamy texture and you get that hit of mustard as well. Okay, if you cool. want it a bit spicy, put the English mustard in as well. Oh, yum. That's okay. really good. Okay. Some Worcestershire sauce that okay. goes in there. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll let you do it. Thank you. Um, some soy sauce as well. That's going to help with the seasoning. Soy sauce. I'm just refreshing my nose, so in case you test me on these later. Soy That's sauce. That's a good idea. What's this one, Mike? Um, oh, I'm thinking it's going to be... Hang on. Oh, that's like a vinegar. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, yeah, balsamic, <laughs> balsamic vinegar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yay! OK, go okay, here. What, what have you got next? Right, and then we've got some... Um, so we're getting some flavours in there now. So what's that? It this sounds like cheese. Che <laughs> what is it? <laughs> uh, garlic powder. Oh, OK. Oh, you're true. Yeah. <laughs> Just smells like cheese. <laughs> what sort of cheese have I been eating? <laughs> OK. Uh, right, some dried herbs as yep. well. So, what is it? Oregano. Rosemary. Rosemary. I didn't smell that. Beautiful. You've been using a lot of oregano recently. I thought you might have got it on special. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've got some chicken stock. Uh, no, lemon juice. Oh, yeah, true, that is. So we've got some lemon juice as well. So, so we've got the balsamic vinegar, you know, that's acidic, that's sharp, the lemon juice in there. You know, even the mustard, you know, we get all those really sharp flavours which are going to penetrate through the meat. So we need a little bit of brown sugar just to sweeten it up a little bit. So it's going to help sweeten it, balance it, and it's also going to help this glaze around the chicken. And we're going to grill the chicken today. Yum. Okay, cool. So, I'm what we're going to do is, is to do that. So chicken breasts, God, these are like the biggest chicken breasts I've ever I know, seen. They're huge, brilliant, aren't they? Aren't they? <laughs> so, you know, it's up to you how you want to do it. You can do little dices. I've got these little skewers here, so we're going to marinate it, and then I'm going to skewer them. So I'm going to leave it in some nice sort of chunks and even slices like that. You know, you just get get rid of any um, sinew or fat or anything you don't want to eat. Just take that off. But if you leave them in nice big chunks and we'll just skewer it like that, and it's just going to be a lot e um, easy. Yeah. It's a lot easier to uh, skewer, and then they're all going to go together, and they're all even. Okay, you know? good. So, okay, so, so that's there's, a, there's a top tip for you. Nice work, thank you. All right, so just do this uh, to the rest of the chicken. And then once your marinade's uh, done, just pop the chicken in there. It's done, yeah. There you go. It smells good, this marinade, too. Yeah, so keep going on about it, but you know, lots of strong flavours, you know, and you've got so many strong flavours in there, you know, you don't need to marinate it for that long. Great. You know, a good half an hour will be will be great, you know. And the lemon, I guess, is going to cut through, you know, some of those more sort of salty tastes, which is going to be great, from all our soys and stuff. It's yeah, exactly, you know, and it's going to it's gonna help tenderise the meat as well. Oh, OK, cool. So how long ideally would you marinate this oh, for? You know, a good half an hour, you okay, know. It's, cool. um, 
Yeah, because just because we've got so much strong flavours in there, you know, it's it's not uh, it's not sort of delicate flavours where you want to give it like so much time. I mean, there's you know, there's nothing stopping you putting it in the fridge overnight and doing it, you know, and you'll get a real good flavour. Nice work. But then the reason behind it is, you know, you can just um, do it for a least amount of time, but have that same impact of like full flavour. I'm great. I'm pleased. You've got a lot of chicken in here because it's Friday and I'm hungry. <laughs> Need a, there's a lot of yeah, chicken in no, there. No, that's good. So. Give it a marinade, you know, get your chicken and then get your skewer and just skewer it through the sides, you know, and you've got a nice nice flat plate piece as well. You know, it's not that important going under the grill because that's, that's fine, but if you do it on a barbecue, you've got a nice flat surface. Brilliant. And that'll be perfect, so there you go. Okay, great. Barbecue season, skewer it like that. Brilliant. Okay, cool. Well, we'll leave that marinating a little bit longer and, of course, we will see the next stages very soon to this recipe straight after we catch up with Holly. But right now, we are finishing off our chicken here today. Um, and I tell you what, that was a nice, big, sexy chick chicken breast, wasn't it? <laughs> Which kind of segue as well with what we're going to be talking about with Julia soon. So I'm going to carry on. We're marinating this, uh, but I'm going to start skewering it up. Yeah, you skewer all that and, and then we'll take and this then I'll show the you how to cook it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, so broccoli, head of broccoli. Um, Cut your stalk off, flip it upside down, and then you just want to sort of cut in, and you're just taking these nice florets off. So you can keep doing that around the whole broccoli. And then if you get large ones sort of like that, you know, just cut them in half. So we want everything to be about the same size, and then it's all going to cook together. All right, and I've got a really hot pan on over here. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in to start with, so that will give us the heat, and we want to roast it in the pan. So we want to get lots of colour in here. You almost... Um, you know, you're not burning it, but you want to take it quite dark sort of caramelisation, and that's going to give us loads of flavour, and it's going to make broccoli taste even better. Because you like broccoli, don't you? I love broccoli. Do you ever actually. roast it? Uh, no, I haven't actually ever roasted broccoli. So then the key as well, you know, don't overcrowd your pan, because you don't want to lose that heat in there. And we want to cook the broccoli. It wants to sort of soften slightly, but you still want a bit of texture in there, and you still want to, have to see that greenness of the broccoli, but having that nice colour. So you can see there, you're starting to get some colour on there, but we're going to go a little bit further. Just going to season it very lightly. Just a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I've got a bit of garlic as well, so this is really nice with their broccoli. So just do some nice thin slices again. And I'm going to chuck that in as well. And the pan's quite hot, so the garlic's going to catch as well and sort of turn, um, you know, caramelise with the sugars in there. But that's mm. going to give us a nice, really sort of depth of flavour on the garlic. Nice work. How's your uh, skewering going? You're good, actually. These are nice big bits, but I'm trying to make it, you know, even for everything, so we've got some good cooking times going on and it's all going to cook evenly. But That's it, so all we're going to do now is we've got a tray uh, just at the bottom over a wire rack, so that's just going to uh, catch any marinade so it doesn't make your oven a mess. It's taken it off, so we're going to go lots of top heat and grill it, so don't be scared to get some um, colour on there, okay. you know, get that caramelisation on it, flip it over, do the same on the other side, and it's probably going to take, you know, maybe 10 to 12 minutes, maybe a little bit... Um, longer depending on how hot your grill is. Okay, great. All oh, this mayonnaise smells so good. It's going to be so nice when we're finished. Right, so you can see the broccoli. We keep um, keep turning it. We're getting some nice colour on there. You know, and it's slowly sort of softening. We've got some hazelnuts as well. Oh, yeah, cool. Hazelnuts. So we just roasted these lightly and just peeled them. So there's a little bit of skin still on there, but that's fine. So just take the back of your knife, just crush it down, and you'll get this nice sort of, you know, chunky roasted hazelnuts. You know, it doesn't need to be too fine, you want the texture in there. I'm going to chuck the hazelnuts in there now. And a bit of butter to finish. So you don't want to put the butter in too early because your pan's really hot, it's going to burn. So I'm just going to finish it now with a little bit of butter. I won't put it all in, as I said, a little bit. Um, and just shake it around. So you're going to glaze the uh, broccoli. And what you want to do, as the butter melts, before it gets too hot, a little yeah. tip, just put a splash of water in there. So that just creates a bit of steam and that's going to finish cooking the broccoli. The water's going to evaporate off, the butter's going to emulsify into the water and you're left with this beautiful glaze. And there it is, bright green, charred, full of flavour. Check the seasoning, good to go. A little bit of lemon juice and even a little bit of soy sauce on there is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Perfect match. Nice work. On the plate, crumble a bit of feta over last minute. Oh, job done. <laughs> OK, Friday lunch is sorted here. I can't wait. This is going to be fantastic. We'll try it a little later in the show. And, of course, the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. The force is always strong with Mark's cooking. It smells delicious. Look at that. A little light saver. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Your chicken. Jedi chicken. <laughs> uh, what are you doing on Monday? Well, I've got Mongolian beef on Monday.